Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be adding fractions with un like denominators. You're like, what is an unlike denominator? That means that this number here on the bottom, they don't match up. They're not the same. We need to make them the same. This is called the numerator. That's called the denominator. I just love that name there, denominator. So we need to make that the same. How do we do it? Well, it's going to be easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. I'll take it step by step. So I need to find the least common multiple of both of these numbers. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and put down 4 right here and 8 right here. And then I'm just going to do multiples of 4. So 4 times 1 would be 4. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 3, 12. And now I'm going to do the 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2, 16. 8 times 3, 24. So I look for the least common multiple, the smallest number that they both share in common. And that would be the 8. So I'm just going to go ahead and circle that. And so I need to make the denominator 8 so that they both share that in common. Now, one trick when you're doing that is whatever you do down here, you got to do up here. You got to do the exact same thing. So 4 times what equals 8? 2. 4 times 2. So I'm going to write 4 times 2 right here. And then I need to also put times 2 right here. All right. So times 2. Now I'm going to rewrite this problem right here. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this. That doesn't get in your way. So 3 times 2 equals 6. And 4 times 2 equals 8. Now, I did not make any changes right here, so I just keep it the same. So I'm going to put down 1 eighth, just like that. And now it's easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy from now on. So all we have to do is just add. 6 plus 1 equals 7. Now, the denominators, remember, if the denominators are the same, once we got them the same, don't change it. Just keep it the same. So I'm going to put down 8 right here. That is our answer. Do we need to simplify? No. 7 eighths, that's the lowest we can go. That's our answer. That's it. Ready to move on to another problem? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we have 2 thirds plus 4 fifths. Take a look at the denominators. Are they the same? No. So we need to do what? We need to find the least common multiple that both of these numbers fit into. All right, so I'm going to put down 3 here and then 5 here. Now, when I'm doing that, I just, I'll usually go like 3 or 4 uh, multiples and then I'll, I'll switch with and then do this number. It just makes it a little bit easier. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Now I'm going to do 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. Now, do they share anything in common? No, they don't. So I need to go a little bit farther. So I did 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3. Let's do 3 times 4 is 12. And then I'll do one more. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, I really don't have to go any farther because now I see they both share in common the 15 right there. All right. So sometimes you might have to go quite a bit out this way to find that least common multiple they share in common. So now I need to rewrite this problem. And remember, whatever I do down here, I need to do the exact thing up here. So I need to get to 15, right? So 3 times what equals 15? 5. So I need to do a times 5 here and a times 5 here. Over on this side, 5 times what equals 15? Yeah, 5 times 3. So I need to do a times 3 here and a times 3 here. So let's go ahead and rewrite this problem. 2 times 5 equals 10. 3 times 5 equals 15. Plus 4 times 3 equals 12. And then 5 times 3 equals 15. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. And then we are going to go ahead and add that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and erase this right here. So I 
just have some breathing room in case I need to do some more figuring. 10 plus 12 equals 22. All right. Now, don't get in the mistake of saying 15 plus 15. No, the denominators are the same, so keep it the same. So I'm going to put 15 right here. All right. 22 fifteenths. All right. Now, when we run into a fraction like that, when the number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom, that is called an improper fraction, and it just it, 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 it's confusing, all right? So we need to change that over to a proper fraction. How do we do that? We're going to divide. I had to give you a challenging problem for learning fractions, didn't I? But don't worry, we're going to take this step by step. So I need to divide to find the proper fraction. So all you have to do is put 22 right here and 15 right there, okay? Now, Oh my goodness, dividing with a double digit number. <laughs> That's okay. How many times could I put 15 into 22? Only one time, because 15 times two would be 30. So I can only put that in one time. So I put the one here, one times 15 is 15. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. And then I need to borrow over here. And then 12 minus five, what is it? Seven? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 7 right here. And that would be our remainder. Now, to, to write this as a proper fraction, remember, this is a whole number right here. So I put 1 right here. Then I take my remainder and I put it up on the top right here. And then I put 15 down here. Now take a look at this. This is 1, 7 15 this has the same denominator as this right here and this one right here, all right? We're keeping it the same denominator, but we're writing it as a whole number and a fraction. So we have one and seven fifteenths. This is our answer. Oh my goodness, that was a doozy. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. Hey, before you go, check out the link right there. That is to my new channel called Dino Math. We're doing a lot of cool stuff on that channel. Everything is related to dinosaurs. We got some Beyblades on there. A lot of cool um, animation with dinosaurs and mathematics with dinosaurs. How cool is that? I really appreciate it for your, um, to add me to your sub, uh, subscribe subscription and uh, just mean the world to me. I hope you're having a great day out there. Get outside, enjoy the weather. We'll talk to you later. Adios, goodbye.